CSB. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. We're not able to give out that information. Okay, well, what am I being accused of? Well, it says here your daughter's name is Sophia. Is it Sophia? Okay. If I you can see her, then I want you gone. Sophia? Good evening, good afternoon. What time is it? <laughs> How it's for you? What time is it now for you? Uh, it's 1 p.m. So yes. afternoon in the day. So it's still early. But you can also start to drink wine or not? <laughs> you can also start to drink wine at 1 p.m. That's how I'm feeling today. I... <laughs> it's your day off or not? It's my day off, but... There's always on the day off, it's work to do to prepare for the next week. <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, split my time between doing nothing and doing a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> welcome, my dear Lily Taleski, right on this platform with us because of your uh, Talevsky, yeah? <laughs> because, because I'm Liliana you... Talevsky. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because you're uh, third generation? Not second. So, second generation. Second generation. My parents are first generation. I'm second. Yes. So beautiful. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's online, of course, but uh, we still share the energy. We feel the yes. energy. No yes, it's wonderful. Power. Thank you. Thank yes. you for having me be here. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Where are you now, actually? Um, I am in Denver, Colorado. I'm working on a show right now, so I'm here uh, for a little bit of time, and then I'll be back to Michigan, back to New York. You know, I kind of go like this. Yes, traveling. A little bit nomadic. And you're doing that because of your work. You have you're yes. doing something very special. So maybe you can introduce yourself to everybody who, has, who will watch this video. What is your job? What are you doing, Lily? Uh, well, my name is uh, Liliana Talevsky. I go by Lily in the States. Uh, I'm an actress and a musician. I'm in uh, Denver, Colorado right now, working at the Denver Center for Performing Arts, doing a world premiere of a new musical. Oh. Um, so it's so exciting to be able to work on that but also connect with you and my culture and a, a part of me that i don't get to explore so much all the time so i'm very happy to be here and to talk about what i do yes well, you're more than welcome and it's so interesting yeah actually i i don't know many actress uh, people that are uh, in this business actually in my life so i'm very curious how this happened <laughs> how did this happen oh, yeah. uh i was an only child um until i was 12. so i spent a lot of time entertaining myself <laughs> and having to mm, uh, create some entertainment and uh my mom loves music and television so she encouraged me she's like do you want to take up an instrument do you want to try doing plays you know so I said oh, okay you know I didn't have too much of an extracurricular life yes so I did I started as a kid I was 10 years old when I did my first like play musical I took up piano I was playing piano I was playing violin in school then I started playing cello in school and all of a sudden it was like, wow, wow, this is so great. I get to have all my feelings as, you know, a young person and express these emotions and sing these songs. I love to sing ever since I was little. 
Um, and then, you know, people will, you go up and they say, and then that feels even better. You know, it feels nice to feel recognized, especially as a kid. Um, and I, I kept doing it because I enjoyed it. And it wasn't until I was 16, I was in high school and my orchestra teacher, I love him. Uh, his name is Jelko Milicevic, he's Croatian. Oh. And he's a wonderful musician. And we, I was doing a musical at the time at school and uh, he was conducting the, the pit, the pit orchestra. And I was singing and they were playing and he tells me after rehearsal, he says, you know, Lily, you can do this for a living. You can make money doing this. I said, what? Because, you know, you know, movie stars, you see that, but you don't know how people get from being like normal to that. And he says, you know, you go to school, you keep learning, you get agents, malo po malo. Uh -huh. you're gonna find your way. And um, he said, Sushai, I'm Croatian. My brother owns a donut shop and I'm a musician. You can do it if you want, because you know, not a lot of people from the Balkans are involved in the arts. So I was like, oh, okay. And it, at that moment I said, I'm gonna try to do this for real. I'm gonna try to make money doing this. I'm going to figure it out. Yes. And um, I did, I did. He was lots of people supporting and encouraging, but I needed, <laughs> makes me emotional. I needed someone from that world to tell yes. me you can do it it's been done so that was very good that he did tell me that and I think of him a lot wow yeah. so amazing yes yeah yeah and even now that you're talking about that you still feel that uh, emotion that you had that somebody saw you eh? that's the most important somebody yeah. saw me yeah it's 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 different being part of a different culture and a different world because you go to school and you learn how to do things and there's um certain expectations but then you go home and these are things no one is in show business in my family we had bakeries we worked in factories you know i i my mother's from bratnica her family they were all farming people sheep herders you know yeah. this is so new to everyone I truly, I did not understand, but I needed someone to guide me, and he yes. did. Yes, to recognize the the passion that you have, to recognize your uh, potential, your qualities. You're right. The potentials. It felt very. Um, in, uh, I felt motivated when someone recognized potential. Yeah, that's so amazing, really, because we all have potential to do something more, but it's so important that uh, because we are not always aware of that, eh? and if somebody sees in us, we also have to believe it also, eh? sometimes you think oh. me. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that, I, I realize now at this point, you have so many people clapping and cheering for you that this is a career where my, my life is 90% rejection. Yes. So I, I really have to muscle up and, and know my worth now and know that I am capable and to, in order to keep going yes. otherwise. To become, a, let's say, also grounded in yourself. And, and accept yourself and uh, even somebody maybe say uh, no to you, you still know that you can do it. That's yes. why you are now where you are. Eh? <laughs> That's exactly it. 90% of the time it's no. But hell, 96% of the time it's no. And then you get the very small percent that it's a yes. And you're like, I still got it. <laughs> I'm still good. <laughs> and and yeah. I, how do you see yourself in the future? Because this is so creative work, eh? but it's not very easy, I guess. It's creative work. It's exhausting, but um, I've started to bring it into knowing that, yes, it's my job, but it's also my lifestyle. Mm. And it's hard. You know, you don't see family so much. Mm. You're, you're kind of tied to your job. With my partner, you know, he... 
he kind of has to be the one like, okay, we're going on the road. Okay, Lily's going here. Okay, Lily's going there. Um, but I mean, eventually, the the goal for me is to keep doing this, do more television. Um, I, I, I do, I see myself being a person that has my hands in a lot of places, you know, like, I think I would definitely like to be an executive producer on a show one day, maybe if I've been on it. Directing um, is another passion of mine. I would like to explore that more. You know, like the people you see who kind of, I want it all, so I want to try to have it all. Oh. Um, I want to keep exploring the different ways I can go um, it within the the show business industry. Yes. So yes. A few more options actually, because we know in this industry, uh, you get uh, older and the people are, oh my God, how, what I'm going to do? But you, from now, you already see more options, and you are two words. Yeah, I, I obviously want to keep performing. I want. <laughs> to keep performing and playing these beautiful things and, and and making these beautiful stories but I think it would be interesting in my years as I keep going to look at it from different perspectives mm -hmm. to direct these other young minds uh, and and young visionaries to be able to kind of you know I think it'd be cool to play around with um, those different roles within um, the industry Yes. I think that would be great. And, and did you study for this, Lily? Or what did you do for education? Yeah, I, w I went to Oakland University in Michigan uh, on a full ride scholarship. That was very good, very helpful. Uh, and um, I studied musical theater and film. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was, uh, they were very open, the faculty to like, how do you want to make your degree? What do you want to learn? Obviously they have structure. I said, I need to do some film classes. I want to take time and understanding how to work on the camera. Obviously I want to be on Broadway one day. So I'm going to do music and, and theater. Um, while I was there, I did a study abroad um, in Greece. I went to uh, Idra for a summer and we were performing Electra. And that was wonderful being in an amphitheater, yeah. performing, you know, in, in the part of the world that my blood is more accustomed to. And I will say I did have another moment where I felt very seen. Uh, we were in Epidavros and we saw Seven Against Thebes, this great Greek play at like the ancient theater of Epidavros. Wow. And these actors, I, you know, I didn't understand what they were saying, but when these <laughs> women would open their mouths and speak, it made my blood feel, it made my heart pound. Yes. And I thought, oh my God, this is why I am how I am. Growing up in America, there is a certain, you know, box that they put uh, uh, women in, especially in my industry, of the kind of type of woman you have to be. I'm a Balkan woman, you have to understand. So when I was hearing Balkan women who are actresses speak these ancient, ancient words, I was floored. I was pouring tears. I said, that's me. That's why I'm like that. <laughs> because I'm part of that part of the world. It was breathtaking. And I was like, uh-huh, it's okay. I'm my own type of, of person. I don't know a lot of Macedonian actresses. I don't know, you know, a lot of people. Now I know a couple of people in, in this industry who are Macedonian. And so it was, um, it was a big eye-opening moment to see in the Balkans, the, dip, the way they approach theater, the way they approached film, the way they approach words in storytelling. Yes, yeah. You know, I grew up hearing my Baba and my Tithkas, you know, speak, you know, telling stories so uh, heightened with their language and their yeah, expressions. Yes. yes. And I'm, I've grown up that way. Like, like I was like a, uh, like a Stadamala, you know what I mean? Like I was like acting like a little like Baba at age five, just because I was with adults so much. <laughs> 
that when I'm now an adult now, I still hold these like characteristics <laughs> that are a little bit big for people. So, but it's because of that. So you are not acting, you are yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people, people can't believe it. I'm in rehearsal and they're like, man, Lily, this girl is always at 100%. I'm like, this is what I've grown up in. Yes. This is what, it, what it's like to grow up in an ethnic household. You, are, you have big feelings all yeah. the time. Yeah. You don't pretend. You just, no. you are who you are. You are what you're, you're following your body. That's, I just today I had a class about somatic intelligence how important is it is to feel yourself eh? to feel yes. your body and i think that you also you that is the part of the acting eh? of course to, to connect with the character to connect uh, with the state of someone but you are right in the balkan we are more of body language people and <laughs> we express this yes yeah. yeah, so, so much so much great and yeah. uh <clears throat> You said uh, that uh, uh, you you felt recognized, eh? you felt uh, seen, and that you want to also explore more. You see yourself more. You are option oriented. Eh? I, I am option oriented. To be fair, I don't know what the best thing will be for me in my life in my future. So I kind of follow where it takes me. You know, through life. Yeah. You are in the flow. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not uh, committed to being rigid about yeah. anything. Yeah. Maybe the world know. I bet the world knows better than me. You know, they say, "Come on, Lily, go for the ride. It's okay." So I'm trying to enjoy it and trust that whatever direction I'm heading in is going to be good. That's yeah. that's kind of how I look at it, at least. But uh, you said uh, you grew up with your mother, with your uh, mama and baba. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So my uh, <laughs> my baba Darinka lived with us for a while um, when I was younger, and she was like my my. We're very very close. Yeah. She was the person when I was little. She'd be watching me and. You know, uh, we had this crazy game when my mom would be out where she had a fly swat, you know, like a fly yeah, swatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And famous. I would, I would, <laughs> I would roll up clothes and the, and throw it at her and she'd hit it in the game. I named it Partala. <laughs> I named, yeah, that's what I named it. And that was our game that we would play. We were buddies, we were buddies. And then got a little bit older and I would spend time with my Baba Marika and she was always cooking. She was in the Bascha and I was like there with her. You know, I spent a lot of time with Babas and I loved it. Yeah. Um, yeah. How yeah. that feels for you? How that feels that the uh, ancestors energy that maybe some of them you never met, huh? but they're living through you. And because of that, you are cry. alive. <laughs> yes, yes. I think about this all the time. I had, <clears throat> I cry a lot. That's just a, that's okay. me. I feel very <laughs> deeply. Um, but I had a wonderful professor when I was in college who used to tell me, <clears throat> when life gets too hard, think about, um, she had this phrase that she'd say, the women in your hips, meaning, your ancestors and ancestors and ancestors before you that are genetically in you, they have you. Yeah. So I try to, um, as I move forward, I remember that they're all in me yes. and they give me strength. Yes. <clears throat> so amazing is that. Eh? And uh, we don't have to know exactly everything, what was happening in their life it's uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, just enough to connect and yes. to uh, be thankful for their life because of them we exist it's so yes. amazing and when you feel that energy also i don't know the mother of my father i never met her she died when my oh. father was eight years old oh. but 
always I remember when I was a little girl, when, was, when my father was talking about Baba Mitra, uh -huh. I felt so much energy, so much like she was coming, you know, in that moment and showing me that she's still here. And I was uh, very gentle with my father, asking him questions. And then I felt his pain also, eh? his sadness mm -hmm. that he lost his mom, mother. But it's so powerful. Even we don't know them, if, even if we don't know their life, we can still connect with them. And oh, even yeah. though you are not in Macedonia, you still feel the energy. Eh? How always, yes. always, always. Just with my name being what yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So much of my identity, you know, I am I'm embarrassed I don't speak more. I, I I'm living in a country where I just don't and you know, I, I'm not with my babas anymore. And my, my parents spoke mostly English. They're born here. But every time I hear music play, you know, I hear the tapan and my heart is beating with it. And, you know, forget it. When they pull up the gaida, I'm like, ah, ah, you know, like on the mountaintops because I feel that in my blood. Yes. Every yes. day. Every day. And how often do you come to Macedonia? Oh. When was your last time? Would you believe... I've never actually been back to Macedonia. You was never here? When I was when I was young, we used to go to Gorna Trepcha, um, mm -hmm. uh, to go, you know, to the banya up there. My my mother would go for like medical things up there. I still I have never been back. My mother's been back so many times. My father's been back multiple times. Yeah. Um, but I never had the opportunity to go. I'm thinking maybe this summer is going to be the summer that it, that it happens. Let, let but, me understand. You was never in Macedonia? Oh, my God. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have a whole experience when I do. I, I uh, It's going to be... Oh, Lily, when you come here, I'm sure that you're going to cry, not only for you, also your ancestors. You're going to feel the energy and, oh, it's amazing, eh? It, I will. Know, sometimes, how can you explain this eh, to people that, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so big. It's so big that you, what you feel, you were still yes. here, but you feel the energy and you are so far away, but we are still connected. It's, I, I love this. It's spectacular. It's very powerful. And, you know, I'm not born there. Neither are my parents, but it's, it is so woven into our life. Yes. And I want to make sure that I honor that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. And to be grateful. And uh, your ancestors are also grateful and happy with you. Eh? That's for, for sure. I, I believe in that. I don't know. And sometimes I wonder, you know, I think I'm like, man, what would these people be thinking if they saw me doing whatever I'm doing with my life they would it's so out of the realm of what my family is known being you know farmers yeah. village people you know this is like so crazy compared to that but uh, you never know the the potential that the people have eh? we uh, don't, that's in true that time maybe this profession was not uh, so much let's say you couldn't leave maybe from that but we don't know what the people had inside you know I was also very <laughs> surprised that uh, I'm entrepreneur eh? I have my own company and I'm a trainer and I work a lot of a lot with people and I find out that this grandmother the mother of my father she was also entrepreneur eh? oh. <laughs> in that time she had her own business she was making things selling to the people in the village so it's in me <laughs> it I, is in you oh my god <laughs> so you don't know what the people did and what kind of potential they, maybe they never worked like that but you're they right had the, the, the talent the quality and uh yes personality dreams awesome. hopes you're so right you're very true it's not only um, us eh? uh, that we are talented. We are like this because of them. Yep. 
we are <laughs> we are like this because of them yes it's amazing so true. yeah and That's amazing how, how except that you are feeling now so strong yeah <laughs> how, i feel i tell people all the time i have big feelings all day long it's great for my job but sometimes yes. like in life people are like <laughs> is she okay hey is she okay i'm like i am i'm just when I laugh, I laugh loud. When I cry, I cry. You know? Yes. You are even more Macedonian than I am. Ah. <laughs> you know, I know that feeling. I used to live in Holland for 17 years. And wow. Before, what were you doing in Holland? Uh, I was married in that time. I was in love. And then I stayed there and had a wonderful job. But was so interesting. I was never listening to... Novo Komponovana, how you call that? Turbo folk music? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the last years in my living in Holland, I was listening to all Nostalgian <laughs> music. You had turbo <laughs> folk playing. <laughs> drinking schnapps. And I felt suddenly so much the energy of the Balkan. And then afterwards, I thought, ah, then started actually for me the wish to come back. I and there felt it is. the energy very strongly. So I, I know how it is when you are also abroad and how do you feel your energy from uh, the country where your parents come from. So it's very normal that you have that. But it's good also that you're showing. That's also very good. Some people will be a, yeah, a little bit more quiet, yes. But, we all feel, but how is your mom with uh, Macedonia? <laughs> she, my mom, in, she was like, the youngest out of all of her siblings okay. she has three sisters she was she was like oops you know like we weren't planning on you so like age five she was translating documents translating for her parents my baba darinka and my dedo urosh they like never learned to speak english as long as they were in america never because they always had kids who knew how to translate or their husbands you know like my um, my titkas, their husbands, like they would go and translate. So what, from a young age, my mom was always translating. She'd go with them back to Vratnitsa to check on the house and building the new houses uh -huh. there. Not Monava, like that is, she was fine with it. But her parents were a little bit older, little older generation. So when she was speaking with them, she was speaking a dialect that also was not only from Vratnitsa, but also older folk speak so when she would go back to like Tetovo go hang out at like uh -huh. discotheque people would come over who are her age who live there and they say oh Kathy you're so funny how you talk you talk like an old person and my mom would be like well what the hell this is all I hear this is all I know yeah. so uh being in America she was like kind of split between two worlds she was the bridge she was the bridge at home, she's one person. At school, she was another. And the older she got, the more she was kind of figuring out her way. And my mom is really smart. And uh, she still, when she gets mad at me, that's when, when she says, Tisi Liliana Talevsky. You know, she has to tell me, you know who you are. You know, <laughs> when she gets that. upset, she starts speaking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, uh, she holds that a lot to herself too. And she, she wants to go back at some point. It's just a means of when, and she also has, um, she has paralysis now. She had a gunshot injury. And oh. so she's in a wheelchair. Oh, Macedonia is not very wheelchair accessible, especially not Bratnica. Are you kidding me? So she's like, this will have to be a big planned thing that, we have a whole itinerary and know where to stay, how to do everything. But she goes to church with my sister and they, they go there for community. You know, it's, it's good to have that. And where they are in Michigan is like Balkan Central. All the Macedonians live in Sterling yeah. Heights and in Shelby Township, Michigan. That's where they are. That's where like Siti Pogorojca is and Sveta Petka and like that's... <laughs> That's their cultural. Yes. Where, where do you belong, Lily? Where do I belong? Yeah. In the world? Yes. 
you know, I've always felt like a bit nomadic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wherever I am is where home is. Yeah. And if you're in a place for long enough, you say, oh yeah, this feels like home. Michigan was home for a long time. Now New York really feels like it's my, my home. But it's because I have work, I have friends there, I have my own place there. We'll see what what's next for home, but um, yeah. I split it in a lot of places. I suppose if I, when I go back to Macedonia, I might be like, you know, I live over there, but this is the home in my heart. Yes. It might be that too. That's what I wanted to ask, where it's your heart? <laughs> so many places all the time yes eh? and your soul my soul my soul you know it's interesting you say that because sometimes i have to be like i have to fly to new york to go finish filming something in the next couple weeks and i know when i go to new york my soul i think will still be here my soul is wherever my mind is whatever i'm focusing on next mm. And then when I come back to Denver, I'll be like, aha, I am one again. I am oh. one again. I feel a lot of split places. My heart's in one place. My soul is in another. My mind, my physical body is in another place. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's a very, that's a tough question. My soul I've never been asked that in my life. Yes. I'll yes. be thinking about that for the rest of my life though. Yeah. <laughs> you are now that you're looking in one side, like you're connecting yourself eh? with your soul. Yes. Your soul, it's everywhere. My soul is everywhere I end up going. Yes. My okay. heart might be, my heart might be in New York. Okay. My heart might be. My heart might be. Ah, but you know what? Then I go to places. I know I'm here. This is where my thing is. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. And I don't know if it's because I travel a lot for work. Maybe I've just grown used to that. Mm -hmm. It might be that too. I, I did my ancestry DNA, funny enough. Okay. And? <laughs> I did that. And of course, it was like, Macedonia, Northern Greece, some of the Balkans, but they said that within that Macedonia region, 56% of that derived from Eastern Roma. Okay, yeah, it's possible, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I said, that makes sense. And then, in, of course, in my head, I'm thinking, maybe that's why I'm so nomadic, because this is somehow in my blood that I do that, but overall, it was like, you are Macedonian through and through and through and through. <laughs> And then 3% Pakistan. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I thought that was so fascinating. And I actually did a little research and I had a, a taxi driver tell me he was Pakistani. And yeah. I just brought up a conversation about it. And he said, okay, well, well, where are you from, miss? I said, oh, I'm Macedonian. He says, miss, have you ever heard of the Kalish Valley on the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan? I said, no, he said, there's a population of Macedonian Pakistani people there. I said, what? He said, during the time of Alexander the Great, his generals, when they went across, they just ended up staying there, making families, sometimes making their way back. Mm. I was like, oh my God, that's why yeah. my whole map is all of that region. It's all very mixed together but centralized in Macedonia. I think that was so cool. Amazing, eh? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I also saw something on the on uh, social media, some post about ancestors that we they had, did some calculation, like we have like a, like a 500,000 or something that we can uh, measure or count. Yes, it's amazing. Oh my God, that is amazing. It makes the world seem a little smaller when you think yes. of it like that, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. And I'm also curious where we can see you. 
on a ah. movie or music ah. or something, um, something well on YouTube. there is a a show on cbs called fbi uh i was on episode four uh season four episode five a couple months ago that was like my first tv role that I did. And now I'm working on a series on Netflix, which will be available on the Netflix platform. Uh, it's called The Watcher. That'll be out in um, the summer, I think, summer of 2022. Uh, so so that's, that's what I have to go to New York to finish filming uh, in the middle of having this job. I am very, very grateful that I yes. am having like two jobs right now. That never happens. <laughs> Yeah. You know what but, is the name of this uh, show that we are doing? Alal Datie. You know what is Alal Datie? Alal Datie. Do you know that? Alal Datie? No. That's mean, that is a Turkish word, actually. I thought it might sound like that, yeah. But we in Macedonia, we use it a lot when you want to say to somebody, you are great, allow that here. You are amazing, you are great, whatever you do. Or sometimes you have to say to yourself, allow that here, Marina. I'm allow proud. That here, Lila. <laughs> I'm going to say that to myself when I need it. <laughs> well, allow that here, Lily, for who you become, for who you are after everything you did in your life and uh, all the things you are amazing you know that huh? Paula, Paula you know that. That. that is it's very <laughs> nice to hear but i of course i come from you know people very humble people that are like don't know how to take a compliment <laughs> you, know? <laughs> but thank you. you know you are doing your well here, the food, with the food, I will show you how much I love you. That's a Balkan style. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, my mother, uh, she'll see a shot. What did you think? It was great. It was good. You know, you need to vacuum when you get home later today. You know, she brings me right back down to earth. God bless her, you know. Uh, no, that's, uh, I find that very good also, you know. It is. Too much also ego. It's okay, of course, to have an ego. We need the ego to. It's achieve. natural. Yes, of course, to protect ourselves, but have to be in balance with the soul. Yeah. So to be more grounded. Yes, you know yourself, you know your qualities and everything. It's good to appreciate yourself sometimes to say allow them here, but it's also good to vacuum your house. Eh? It's also <laughs> good to vacuum your house and wash the dishes and. <laughs> get back to reality <laughs> be normal again <laughs> yes. be normal again and i'm i am very grateful for her to to do that you, it's very easy to get swept up and i see people and another reason why i'm very thankful for my nationality and my culture is that there is a sense of okay back to work you know, we we are very careful not to get too caught up with the glory. Yes. I see so many people in my industry, also family, family, as much as we get annoyed with our family, you know, getting in the business and it's a way to keep yourself in check yes. all the time and not get too far away from, you know, balanced principle. So I'm also, I have to acknowledge that too. I have to acknowledge that it's my, culturally, that's an important thing to keep you sane. Yes. <laughs> they really do. It keeps you sane. Yes. Um, there's a lot of getting swept up in, oh, and this and this job and that job and these people, you know, you need the pillars of strength to keep you in line in a business that's so connected to your soul and your personality. Yeah, it's um, it's a vulnerable thing to do every day. Yes, yes. Put your to put your heart to wear your heart on your sleeve, and put your heart on the line every day again and again. Yes, yeah. So also so amazing for you eh, in this uh, industry to stay yourself also, and to your own values and beliefs. 
to stay connected with your family. Otherwise, it's very easy eh, to get lost, I think. You nailed it. That's exactly that's yeah. exactly it. It's very easy to get lost and swept up. Mm. Yeah, having that is um it's a great thing to remind myself. And I know that I've got the people keeping me in line, especially when it's um emo it's an emotionally exhausting job. Oh yes. I very can. grateful. Yes. Very it's a people job. You know you're with people all day long. Yes. Yeah. Sure, you're sitting in a chair, maybe talking with people, but the engagement of energy. Of course. You you are constantly making also connection. You have to be present. You have to be connected also with yourself. That is a uh, consciousness. It's not uh, to be conscious and to be self-aware. It's also effort. <laughs> it's not uh, it's some effort. Oh, it's effort. Exactly. And what is your best, uh, let's say, quality? Because you're doing different things, eh? acting, dancing, singing, and uh, also what you want to do in the future more. What is your best something, uh, what you know for yourself? Eh? This is how I'm doing it, actually. <laughs> wow, I'm doing it, actually. Um, I, I always consider myself being um, like an actor, a, com a communicator, storyteller first. Mm -hmm. um, I think I surprised myself this last year uh, being still in the midst of the global pandemic of uh, being able to adapt. Yeah. Okay. To adapt. Yes. That's just one of the qualities. Yeah. Really to adapt and, and you know how you, like jumping in with both feet, mm. trying to be fearless of, of, um, not having to know the answer to to what's going to come next i'm just kind of really trying to be present adapt see what's in front of me and also laugh at myself not take myself too seriously that's my ah, big lesson this year as well yeah. yes stay positive stay get uh see the fun actually yeah i think i i'm all i'm reminded too that <clears throat> I've, I've worked a lot of random jobs because when you're an actor, that's not your main job. Your main job is you work at a restaurant, you are a babysitter, you do random side gigs mm. and it's really exhausting. So I think I also this year have just acknowledged that like taking pressure off of oneself, nothing has to be perfect. Wow. There are people that are dying. There are people that are not well. What really matters is staying alive and staying afloat. Keep a roof over my head. Stay yes. healthy. Yeah. Um, and I think that has to do with the adapting with every situation to being flexible. Flexible, yes. Is it worth it, Lily? Yes. Do, all the effort. Always. Yes. And what do what is what you really you know, take it? What is the, the biggest thing that you take from all this effort that you are doing? And uh, yes, what is the, the 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 best thing for you? It's not all it's never the money, yeah. We know that. <laughs> the money's great when it is great, and when it's not, it's not all of this. A life worth living, having yeah. some sort of fulfillment. You know, I always say when I am an old Baba, yeah, I want to be so freaking tired. I want to be tired from a very full life of, of a big story that I've had, this big long journey, this big long story. So I I try to take each thing I do and just make it be a fulfilled. I just want to have a fulfilled life. I want to, I want stories to tell when I'm old. Oh. I want, 
I want to feel like it meant something. Okay. So your yes. drive is also through the experiences that you make, new things that you do, you feel fulfilled. Yes. Yes. So yes. Experience is for you the most important, I think. For right? me, it's the experience. Uh, it's the sure, best. I have goals and yeah. I would love to reach them, but I'm well aware that uh, the journey to them is is what is yes. going to be important and beautiful hopefully and probably not beautiful sometimes but beautiful because it's happening yes it's a process eh? everything is a process <laughs> and uh people say you cannot ask a woman how old is she i find that very stupid because i am out of my age and i want people to see my age, to see my experience. I love that. So I want to know how old are you? Uh, Dvice Pitt, I'm 25. 25. And yeah. tell me, when you are with, uh, if, you, uh, if you remember now, if you get in the energy when you are with your Baba, <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> I see a little girl. Huh? <laughs> yes. I am. I am. I'm, I think about myself as a child a lot. Yes, yes. I think about that a lot. And um, it's something I try to bring into my work. You know, if I'm having a day, the series I'm working on right now is like very emotional. I'm, I'm crying a lot. Mm -hmm. I really have to have these very difficult feelings. And I'm always wondering, like, how do you access that? Ah. I think of myself as a child yes because that but, is the the purest like you don't know you're a kid you just have big feelings and that's it <laughs> yes and when you are crying when you are connecting with your childhood what are the tears for for the beautiful time and that is going fast or that for the beautiful time for the time that maybe my little self won't know that I'll experience that aren't so beautiful. Um, for for the hope, I think for the hope that a young person has, that a kid has, yes. big dreams and ideas and hope. When I grow up, I want to be. You know how kids will think like that. Um, it's beautiful. Yes. And it you, is never, so you never want to lose that child. Eh? No. no. It's always part of you. And I think that's just the energy that you're bringing maybe in your work. Eh? I see. I, I try to, I try to bring that to be playful yeah. um, because I think that keeps you creative. Yes. Yeah. It's so easy to get lost in the seriousness. And I think that can sometimes, that stifles the yeah. soul to take yourself so seriously all the time. I mean, there's a time and a place. I'm not a lawyer. I, I should not be a lawyer. <laughs> I'll just be like performing way too much for the jury, you know? Um, but in this entertainment industry, I think it's um, to come up with these ideas and to be able to collaborate. Mm -hmm. You have to keep yourself kind of on the light side, you know? And, and of course we can get into heavier topics and painful things and you know we do shows on historical events that were absolutely atrocious um but the way to access these emotions i think you have to stitch your yourself closer to your inner child because mm. you know a, a, a child i would say leads with their head you know when you're a kid you're walking around yeah, oh, that? Right. Oh, so you're aware right so yeah. aware of what's in front of you so i try to i try to remember that in in my work and sometimes say okay lily tone it down and i say okay yeah. okay but you gotta try something but you know that not now you mentioned such an interesting thing because sometimes the parents say what is happening in the child life and how the parents are i see also child that are not moving so much mm, that's true sometimes oh in the in the fight or flight things you're kind of yes. like yes 
to so absolutely it's, immobile. It's one end of the spectrum to the other. It's so amazing to, to, even maybe you don't experience that, even if you're grown up, to start to move your head and to look around. Yeah, to start to move your head. Energy. To discover and um, be curious. That's the most important. Yeah. I think that's interesting. And you're, you have to be a, you seem like just such a curious, like a person that's curious about others. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's what is so fascinating about what you do. Yeah. I to, love to be curious with people. I love that because, uh, you know, when we were talking about uh, the, what we're going to talk, the uh -huh. uh, show, I don't want to know a lot about you, I said, because I really want to, to be surprised. <laughs> yeah, spontaneous. Spontaneous, yes. And tell me, Lily, what is uh, what this we were talking about this, I have to say that, but uh, I, I ask always people to show me something what they have that is uh, connecting them with Macedonia and you have something, I know. So I usually, because I'm in a place that's not my home, I always have my, my mother and I always have a uh, uh, Tursko together. That's like our thing. Yeah. My mother and Tursko. I don't have my Tursko with me. I don't have my little jizbe or anything, but. Yes. Because every time I go to a new place, oh my God, I almost fell off my chair. Okay, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> um, every time I go to a new place, I try to go uh, to new bookstores and I always like to see what they have in uh, their Eastern European Balkan section. I'm in Denver, Colorado. Like what the hell are they gonna have from Eastern Europe, right? But I go and I look, it's the bottom shelf, of course. There's like only 14 books. And I see this book and it says, it's backwards, but Black Lamb and Gray Falcon. And it looks beautiful. Yes. And I thought, this looks it's familiar. It's but Mosta in Bosnia, I think. Yes, it's the bridge in Bosnia, in Mosta. And yeah. I said, this looks familiar. I said, wonder what it's about. I open the first page. Wow, Yugoslavia. <laughs> and it's got all of it. And I see down here, Tetovo, Gostivar, Prilep, Ohrid, Bitoa, Struga. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I have to get this book. I have to get this book. And there's these gorgeous, I mean, it's from 1943 is when it was published. It's got this old binding. And I look and there's pictures there's pictures in here from 1943, view from Sveti Naum in yeah. Opie. In 1943, these black and white photos. And one of my favorite pictures in here is um, uh, the marketplace in Opie. Oh, yeah. Oh, amazing. And of course, the chapter right after the last picture. Macedonia. <laughs> So I, I immediately bought it and I bought it and I like to have little pieces of me wherever, wherever I go. So this sits in my room here and I flip through it and I read through it and uh, it makes me feel more like myself. Yeah, but it's a beautiful book. You can see it's old, eh? It's old. Look at it. Look at the binding. It's beautiful. And, and that uh, you can buy this. That's amazing. You know, I can, I, it, I did. And on the inside, there was um, a woman wrote in here from your poppy on the occasion of your 28th hotel anniversary. I don't know what that means. 1943, October 18th. 43? Mm -hmm. 1943. Wow. During like the second world war. That I'm like, this is just. You wow. have very special in your hands now. I, I do. I have something very special in my hands. And I like to collect these kinds of things um, to have in my home over time. And of course, in, in uh, our apartment in New York, my boyfriend, Vladimir, and I, um, yeah. we have uh, Sveti Clement, the uh, icon, you know, that's right by the front door that watches over us. And it's just, a you know, a, a piece that makes us, closer to our identity in their home. And we have uh, Juto Osa in the freezer, of course, because we always want to have 
<laughs> we need our, our, our good alcohol. Yeah. We have, you know, uh, we live in a place called Astoria in, uh, in New York, in Queens. And this is like Balkan Central. Yeah. Yes, yes. Serbians, Macedonians, Bosnians, Croatians. We've got the Euro Mart down the street where we get absolutely everything we need. We get our mortadella, we get our, you know, uh, baklava. Baklava, all of our good stuff. <laughs> well, we get baklava from the from the bakeries fresh because we know we gotta have it straight up from them. But I get all my chai from there and my Planinsky yes. chai that I love so much. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Vladimir, it's also Macedonia, eh? yes. Vladimir was born in Bitoa. And he came to America when he was six. His parents, uh, Verica and Zoran, they uh, got the American visa lottery in 96. I know. It yeah. was between America and South Africa. So when they got the American visa, because they won the South African one, they said, mm, we'll probably go to the United States instead. Oh, amazing. And what he is doing? What, uh... Uh, he, he works a corporate job. He's in digital marketing. So he is able to work remotely, which is really cool because I travel a lot. So he yes. ends up coming where I need to go. And both of our families are still in Detroit, but we live in New York together. Um, and it's, it's cool. His... Um, one of the reasons we started dating is like I didn't I didn't really date too much of Macedonian guys or you know Balkan guys in general just because the only ones I knew are ones I grew up with that I was like Ugh. and you know they they had different life paths that they wanted to go on I was very unorthodox I was like kind of like black sheep of my family going in a direction what acting theater, art, you know, Bogdashua, <laughs> you know, like, God forbid, I didn't get married at 20 years old, to, 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 and like have kids, you know, and that was just not my path. Some people were ready for that. From a young age, I was like, no, I'm different. I'm different. But uh, I met Vladimir and he had been going to school. He got a second degree. And he actually messaged me when I was writing a lot of music and he said, I like watching your videos of you playing piano and, and singing, this is cool. You're Macedonian? I said, yeah, he goes, there's not a lot of artists who are Macedonian. I said, there's not, you're right. And he said, that's cool. So we started dating and he said, you know, my mom, she played piano for a long time in Bitola. Like she wanted to be a music teacher. I was like, oh, so we had this like connection with, our first date was at an art museum. So we were always connected to art and music and kind of thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. And even though he has a corporate job, he loves hanging out with other actors and other performers. Cause he's like, I get to see a whole different part of life. Yes. So, so it's a full connection I hear. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's lovely. Other. it's we we complement each other and he loves coffee and cars he loves his bmw a lot <laughs> uh and uh he um he loves coffee a lot so he has his passions i have mine and they coexist really nicely together he is when i have auditions and i have to memorize lines <laughs> that's what he does that's his job and he's really really good at it <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! So interesting how people connect. Eh? It's so it's yeah. special that uh, yeah. it's always someone for everybody. For each of us have a soul connection. But the point is, are we reaching out to each other? Eh? That's yes, yes. I truly was like never expecting to find someone who would understand and respect my art and my uh, choice of journey for my life, let alone someone being Macedonian and understanding that. But when we started dating, it just made sense. There was, you know, unspoken things that culturally we didn't have to explain to each other. Um, and that was an added plus. That's such a bonus. And we know when we get married, we'll probably have one in Michigan and then do another one 
in Macedonia and our <laughs> friends, our American friends think that's so cool. They say, yeah, we're going to go to Macedonia. <laughs> we're going to go. To <laughs> so, um, so I see, I hear that you are also seen by him. Yeah. Yes. That's so beautiful. Eh? I, I am. Um, I am, and for a while I fought that. I said, you don't, you don't know me all the way. You don't. <laughs> but when you're living with someone, they pretty much see you all day long, better than maybe you see yourself. And he's very, very wonderful about it. He understands my brain and how it works and how I'm messy about things sometimes. But, but Yes, and I encourage him to let loose a little bit, you know? <laughs> so it's a nice compliment. He reminds you, Lily, you have to, uh-oh, uh -oh, what's going on? Uh-oh, yeah. Uh, there back. we go. Yes. My mom tried to call me just now. <laughs> okay, she's like, okay. <laughs> um, but she knows about the interview? She does. She, I think she literally just forgot. Uh, I, that's we, we but said, I just clicked decline and uh, she's probably going to say oh my god oh yes I forgot oh my god <laughs> uh, but uh, she's very excited about that too you know when the United Macedonian diaspora ran the little article about me to the community uh, a few weeks ago she was getting texts and calls from you know friends in the area that we're saying, hey, Lily's in this, Lily's in this. My gosh, Kathy, you must be so proud. She was like, yeah, this is crazy. What? So. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she, the parents are not uh, aware of uh, that we are growing eh? and that we yes. are doing uh, different things. And they're, if, when other people start to talk, they're like, oh, yeah, that's my child. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you, that's exactly it you have it exactly that's exactly it but Amazing. it's it's fun it's Such good a nice uh talking with you yes likewise my god you like i feel seen now with you <laughs> i'm like it's like i feel new i feel new after talking to you just now so beautiful. So you, un, you you peeled back some things that I wasn't even aware of. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you also for being yourself eh? and being open and honest. I hope I hope I was. I think I was. Hmm, I won't think about it too much, but there's so many facets. Yeah. Between, you know when you sit down for this versus when you go to work versus when you go, you know, the Prodavnica, like you're a different person the whole time. Um, but I hope so. I, I, I try to be as a... You know, now we are the best version of ourselves, but that doesn't mean that we are not going to change and transform. So now we are the best. <laughs> I'm going to live by your quotes there. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely wonderful i i don't know how you come up with all this brilliant stuff it's just you know, because many people come to my to me and they say i'm not happy with myself i want to i want another life i want to be someone else but you have only one life eh? i said i do you know that <laughs> yeah do you, you know that <laughs> <laughs> i want another life who which other life eh? or I want to be someone else I want to be better version of myself but you are now the best because of everything you did in the past but we can always be different and uh, ch to change and transform and uh, do different things but first we have to acknowledge who we are and to be happy and proud of ourselves here and now and from here we can always grow and do different differently something but it's amazing eh? how uh, life is so beautiful actually actually it is even in all of its ups and downs yes. the fact that it gets to be lived that's pretty incredible as long as you know you're mentally okay and 
you have your health and you're able to eat. Yes. The fact that you're living is pretty remarkable. Yes, amazing. Eh? And yeah. that you exist, that is also so amazing. <laughs> that it is amazing. We can talk. Sometimes I catch myself and I'm like, oh my God, I'm a person living on this planet. I have hands that can play instruments. Yeah. I have a voice that creates words. And then all the other stresses, they seem to go down a little bit. And what is most beautiful, you make the best of it. Eh? You use them all. Oh. <laughs> and you make oh. them. That's great. <laughs> That's right. That's right. My mother and I always have a phrase. We say, if you're not laughing, you're crying. So let's find a way to keep laughing. Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it was wonderful, Lily, talking to you. I wish you success in everything you do. Oh, and thank you. Stay yourself because you are the best the way you are. Stay yourself and uh, yes, don't lose that sparkle in you. Eh? That's so important because but you never lose it. I see it. It's, it's, <laughs> in your, it's your passion. Eh? Yeah. I, I hope so. If anything, I will try to just keep the spark yes. in life, no matter where it takes me. So Don't lose the music in you, they also say. That's so much music in you. I, I can see in the way you're moving, your voice and everything. So I'm very happy to see more from you. And I will follow you and I'm looking at you for in Netflix and wherever you are. And Thank you. See you in Broadway. Eh? Hey, see you there. <laughs> Sounds good. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for having me. It is an honor. It is a pleasure. Yes. I have the utmost respect for you and for really all of Macedonia and its history and its and whatever the future holds too. So I'm honored to be a part of it. And it's in my blood. You are a part of it. You are. You don't have to be present here, but you are part of it. Say so send so much love to your family, to Thank your you. Macedonian family, to Vladimir and his family. To all Macedonians, you know there. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> yes. I will. We are connected and we will always stay connected. Uh, that's that's we'll always be connected now. Thank yes. you so much. Have a wonderful day and success in everything you do and uh, keep yourself healthy. That's the most important. Thank you. Thank you.